Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Inga and I'm a tour leader for Expat Explore. And I want to take you guys on a virtual culinary tour of Scandinavia and the Baltics. We're gonna follow the route of one of the Expat Explore tours called Best of Scandinavia and the Baltics. I'm gonna set a link to the tour in the comments down below. Now, if you want to join me for a little culinary travel, then this is a 20 day tour. So I'm gonna post one video every day for 20 days. Each day, I'm going to be making a dish that is very special to the region that we're in on that particular day. The first country that we're gonna visit is called Denmark. Denmark, beautiful Denmark. Not many mountains, but lovely people, great beer, great sausages. But of course, there's one thing that we think about first and foremost when it comes to Denmark, and that is the open sandwich. Smørrebrød, the locals call it. And it, they make different types of things, but the key denominator is that it's all on rye bread and you need so much filling on top that you can't see the bread. I'm gonna make three today. We're going to make smoked salmon. We're gonna pair that with a gorgeous uh, scrambled egg with chives. And then we have this, which is roast beef. We're gonna pair that with potato salad. And we're going to peel prawns and make a prawn sandwich. And we're gonna pair that with a homemade mayonnaise. And that's the first thing that I'm gonna teach you how to make. Now, mayonnaise is something that a lot of people are scared of making at home, and they shouldn't be. It's actually very simple. You just need a couple of ingredients. So for one thing, we need egg yolks. I have three here, and we're gonna put this in a tall container because we're making this with stand mixer like this. The second ingredient that we're going to add is just a pinch of salt. And then we have oil. And then we have a bit here of mustard. Now I'm using Dijon mustard. It's about a good teaspoon. And then I'm gonna put the stand mixer in and we're gonna start to we're going to start to add the oil in a slow, slow drizzle while we keep it. Now you can see the last bit there, you can see there's actually quite a bit of clear oil here. And I wasn't too careful because once it starts to emulsify, once it starts to go that pale color that you see at the bottom, you don't have to be quite as careful with the oil. What I'm going to start to do now is to slowly lift the stand mixer while holding on to the container, and that will help to incorporate the last of the oil. You can tell how thick it is. Now, the very last thing that we're gonna do for our mayo is to add the lemon juice. Now, I have a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice in here. This gives a lovely little bit of acidity to the mayonnaise, and it thins it out a little bit. Now, for the most important thing, of course, taste. Mm, really nice. You can taste the acidity of the uh, little bit of lemon. It doesn't have an overpowering oily flavor. It's not too soft. You can't taste the Dijon mustard, but it gives a bit more depth of flavor. So there you have it. Beautiful homemade mayonnaise. There you go. The next thing we're gonna do is peel our prawns. So the way to do this, there's two different ways. When I was a kid, I used the three snap method. That means that first you take off the head, just squeeze and pull. Then you create a little crack in the middle, make just a little bend so that the shell tears. Then you take your fingers over the end, you pinch it together and pull. And then take the top and you just pull that up like that. And that gives you one prong. However, there is another method that is a little bit more challenging to learn, but once you know how, 
it's actually very simple. So essentially you're skipping one step, you're skipping the skip step where you're twisting off the head and instead you go straight for the bending of the body and then you take your fingers, three fingers, and you just pinch here and you pull. Oh, there you go. And then you do the same here, pinch and pull. Now we're gonna do that on all of these prawns. And there we have it. All the prawns are peeled and ready to go in our sandwich. Now, there's one more thing that we have to make before I'm ready to start to assemble, and that is the scrambled eggs. All right, everyone. So we're gonna make scrambled eggs. Now, the first thing we do is heat up a pan and we're just putting a bit of butter in there. Just a good knob. Now I have two eggs in here, and I'm just gonna whisk them up very lightly. Now, the next ingredient that I'm going to add is cream. Now I have about two, a little over two tablespoons here. I'm gonna add those to my two eggs. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to the eggs. And the last thing I'm going to add is my chopped chives. There we go. Now, the egg, the pan is heated. You can feel it there, it's nice and hot. But it's not so hot that the butter is bubbling ferociously or turning brown. You don't want that because that'll turn your eggs brown as well. Now, I'm gonna to start to pull from the edges into the middle. And you should start to notice that it'll harden along the edges. So here now you can see that this is starting to get the desired texture. This is looking very nice now. Now towards the end, you're kind of just folding it over more than trying to break the eggs up. I'm gonna stop now because this is gonna sit in the pan for a little while, while we are assembling the eggs and I don't want them to dry out. And that's how they look, beautiful scrambled eggs. And now we are ready to start assembling our beautiful sandwiches. We're gonna start with the roast beef. And here we have gorgeous potato salad. I've left a recipe for how to make homemade potato salads in the comments below. You can take a look at that, but I'll just start by adding a generous bit onto my bread. We're gonna add the roast beef on top. Now, for our prawns, we're gonna use a lovely mayo, which we made from scratch. Add a good dollop. On top of that, we are going to add some hard boiled eggs. There we go. And then we're going to add our prawns on top of that. We make a generous amount of prawns. There we go. And now for the last one, we have our scrambled eggs. And then we're going to add our smoked salmon on top of that. And there we go. Now we're just going to add a few finishing touches to make them look beautiful and then you can see the finished product. Enjoy. And here they are, the finished product, our beautiful Danish smoke open sandwich. I think it's time for lunch. Enjoy, bye.